I'm Sherilyn Roy. And I'm Charles Glass. And, and we're, we're from, from instructionalfitness.com. Today, we're going to do incline hammer press for the advance. One of, our, one of our best moves here is that we do a little twist with this whole thing. First of all, you look at the person you're training and you try to adjust the seat according to her or him. Here we go. You're going to lower the seat a little bit to about her height so it'll be on probably like mm, four or five. Now I have her sit in. The normal sitting patterns for a beginner is to sit all the way back. But for my advanced people, what I normally do is I have them place the hand a little closer. Now I got to understand, we're going to get some tricep in here, but not enough to worry about. The thing of it is, we're going to hit that upper shelf really hard. Just slide slightly forward, put you in an incline position. Ready? Push. Elbows are out and down and push through. There you go. Squeeze into the top. As you push, you lift that chest up, push through. Notice how she fills up through the cavity there. It goes from here all the way up. Most people believe that all you ever need is decline. But if you're smarter, you'll really work that upper pec because why? You want that upper shelf. There you go. Come on. If you go back in the days and the history of the bodybuilding, you see all those guys with that nice thick upper pec. It didn't come from doing decline. It comes from doing incline press. And this creates that same angle that you need. That's 45 degree angle. There you go. Good. One more rep. That's it. Now, you got to understand, this is an advanced movement. Don't put your beginners on this. Because one thing you want to do, you want to try to take them a little slower. Build them up to the advanced. All right? Now, one thing you want to do for sure, you want to make sure their body slides out, their elbows are even, and they're pushing through. Try to keep a lot of pressure off the delt by keeping the elbows down, not up, but down and follow through with the movement, complete movements. Advance, four sets, eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 15. Now, two sets of 12 to 15, but one each other time following, all right? Now, this is a great piece. If you can't get to it, you can try to create it some other kind of way, but you gotta have a hammer machine if you wanna do this right. Now, that's it. So, I'm Charles Glass. And I'm Sherilyn Roy for, for instructionalfitness.com. Instructional